Today, we put your eyes to good use, you know, other than for watching this video. Yes, today we get our reading on. Welcome to the Droid Goblin, your source for everything Android. My name's Carl, and today I'll be taking a look at Feedly Reader, a rather cool and simple RSS reader for your device. Don't let that simple part fool you though, this is a great little reader. Now right off the bat, before we get started, I should mention it is free, so your wallet will love you for that, especially if you have a few subscriptions already. Let's go find out what's what with this app and stick around to the end to find out what I think is the best feature. When you launch the app for the first time, you're prompted to sign in with an account, or you can log in with Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Evernote, or Windows Mobile. And it'll only take you a couple of seconds. Once in, you're greeted with a very clean, simple interface, and the red-white combo is very appealing. If you don't have any subscriptions yet, it's just simply a matter of going to the options menu in the top right there, and here you can search for new subs, filter your feed by only red, mark red on the scroll, or view the oldest posts first. Subbing is as easy as searching for an author and hitting that plus icon when you found one that appeals to you. If your feed doesn't auto-update with the new articles, just swipe down and they will be loaded. I like the very basic style of the feed where you get a snippet of the article with images loading automatically. When you go into a post, like the Cyanide and Happiness comic for example, you can just tap the name at the top to actually view the article. The nice thing is that you can swipe to the left or right to see the next or previous comic, with a nice scroll bar at the bottom there. You can also mark all the posts as red if you wish. Being a customizing fan, you'll no doubt want to see what's under the hood. When you hit the options menu in the top left and go to settings, you'll see you can change a multitude of things, like how the app handles the offline reading and so on. If you go back to the menu and go into the themes, you'll see that you can customize the theme color from 22 presets. The thing I like most is that you can change it to the darker theme, which I find is a lot easier on my eyes, especially for prolonged reads. It's a basic thing I know, but I feel it works really well. And there we have it, free, simple, and very effective. I like it a lot. It's a very humble and reliable little app. Now the feature I love the most definitely has to be the slide to star and slide to mark as read function. It's very simple, but it makes Feedly Reader that little extra bit sleeker. That's all we have time for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw today, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to let us know what you think about the app and indeed the channel, please hit us up in the comments below. We always appreciate your feedback. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, you know what to do, hit that sub button. As for me, Carl, I will see you guys on the next one.